right, welcome to Nerdstock. We're backstage at Mighty again for another SF New Tech, and I'm here with... Andy Miles, uh, co-founder of Bandize.com. Bandize is an organizational tool for bands and record labels and booking agents. Um, it helps you realize that your band is a business. It's just like a startup. Cool. You've got accounting, you've got products, you've got all those things to keep track of. Wow. And it's, it's all web-based, right? All web-based, that's right. Currently, we have bands at all levels using the system. My friend makes $250,000 a year with his band. Mm -hmm. uh, he did most of that by himself, actually. He wow. just recently cool. signed to a professional management company. Congratulations. And, uh, yeah, that's right. right and so there's all levels. And we've got the 13-, 14-year-old bands using it as well. And then we also, though, we have record labels and, and band managers using it. You basically go to the site, you sign up, uh, you get a 30-day free trial. And what you would then do is once you sign up, there's like one, usually there's one person in every band that's kind of the organized one. Sure. And so he'll go through and he will invite the rest of the band and then they all get their own login. And it's still $15 a month regardless of however many logins. So if there's 20, 30 people in your band, it's a flat rate regardless. Awesome. Everyone has a login, everyone has access to everything. We're thinking about adding permissions. So in case your, your drummer is not responsible, sure. you just want him to be able to see your shows coming up. He can't see the accounting. We'll let you do that. Okay. So and calendar, um, then, that's another feature, right? That's right. There's a calendar, uh, which is really great. gives you a, an overview of everything. Okay. And so if you've already got shows booked, you can put those in there. You can pull your shows from MySpace automatically. If you've already got, like, 20 shows listed, we don't want you to have to enter those in again. Okay. The other great thing is, after you pull those shows in, or, or if you do manually enter your shows upcoming, sure. You can then automatically sync those to MySpace and Pure Volume with the click of one button. Wow. We're also adding Facebook too. Wow, that's awesome. So that's pretty cool. And then other things like assets, you can track. You know, if you have a guitar or drums, you can track that with the with a serial number. If it, in case it gets wow. stolen, actually in San Francisco, wow. uh, about a year ago, my friend's band had their personal items stolen when they were playing inside. Not their gear, right, right. their computers and stuff. Wow. And the thieves actually took the license plates and insurance information from the car just to mess with them. So they had no idea what they were doing. <laughs> wow. So that's what inspired the asset section. So now you can oh, have so that information cool. logged in Accounting there. Accounting is a huge feature. If you sell a shirt, if you give a shirt away, it's not zero in your accounting. You lost $4 because that's how much it cost you to make that shirt. Wow. You should know that. Right. Can you guys do things like uh, performance-based uh, selling? So let's say in one city I'm selling a certain shirt versus another city. Absolutely. I'm a different shirt. We, does your application let us know that? Absolutely. Well, what you do is if you're playing in El Paso, Texas, and um, you know we're from Texas, so okay. if, if you're playing in El Paso and you have a shirt that's the El Paso Suck shirt or something, oh, yeah. and, and you can see that that shirt didn't sell well, because what we let you do is when you go back to log sales for the night, sure. you can associate that show with that sale. Wow. So you always know how you're selling in each city right. if you log your sales. And it automatically puts that in your accounting. So it will take the cost of the shirt and deduct that from your retail price and show you how much you actually profited. We're currently looking for some funding. We had some angel funding uh, to start up with. Okay. And um, after that, we're going to hire some people and just and just keep promoting it. We're making several contacts in the industry, which are great. Awesome. Um, and we're just going to keep growing, adding new social networks to sync to, mm -hmm. uh, eventful, right. etc. Sure. And just keep growing. I was in a band. We were on the road, mm -hmm. and I thought we were pretty organized. And then in uh, actually northern Northern California, right. I know they call this NorCal, but really northern Weed California, actually. Right, right. I know what you're uh, van broke down, caught on fire. Yeah. If we didn't have a fire extinguisher, we would have lost everything. But oh, for wow. some reason, we did. And I just got to thinking, like, we are not organized at all. Yeah, so that's yeah. where Bandai's came we've from. We've got uh, Bandai's.com, which obviously is the, is the main site. And then we've got a blog, blog.bandai's.com. And um, that's pretty much it. I mean, how do you spell Bandai's out, even though it's uh, across your chest right well, now? Well, Bandai's is just band and organized kind of put together. And we also own Bandai's with I-S-E as well for our English friends. Okay, you know, so. And so if, we, if people have feedback or bands have feedback, how do they contact you? Uh, they're through the site. We've actually got a number of, uh, uh, of different ways, but you can email help at Bandai's.com as well. Thanks so much for Absolutely. Thanks a lot. Thanks.